Hey warriors, and welcome to your rut busting yoga flow and creativity session. In these sessions, I'll give you a prompt to help you inspire new ideas. We'll spend about 15 minutes or so on our mats flowing and stimulating our creative energies. And then we have time set aside for you to take that prompt and that energy and create. These sessions are perfect for when you're feeling stuck in a creative endeavor, a work project, or just in life. Today's prompt is, it was smaller than she thought it would be. She must not have read the description. When she ordered it, she'd been distracted, ready to just. So when you're ready, let's hop on the mat and fight for our creativity. Hey warriors, in today's rut busting yoga flow, we're gonna start standing on our mats. You can start at the top of your mat. I'm just gonna start facing you. So we'll come into a nice strong stance, a mountain pose. We're not just hanging out like we might during the day with our shoulders forward or our backs bent. We're gonna find a nice strong posture with our head over our heart and our heart over our pelvis our belly button pulled back toward our spine to engage the core, feet planted into the mat, pressing in with all four corners. Take a couple deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And maybe with each inhale, we pull the shoulders down away from the ears and open the chest, pinching the shoulder blades together And we'll just start to invite a little movement into the body. We'll inhale, reach up overhead. And then an exhale, grab the left wrist with the right hand and pull up and over to the right side of the mat, reaching, planting that left foot and keeping the left side body pressed into, toward the mat. Inhale back to center. And exhale, pulling that right arm up and over toward the right side of the mat, left side of the mat. Stretching through the right side body. Inhale, back to center. And then an exhale, we'll bring the elbows together, almost making like a, a goal post with the arms, pulling the elbows toward each other behind the body. And exhale and inhale back to center and exhale pulling the shoulders down or the elbows down and back toward each other inhale back to center one more time exhale the elbows together opening through the chest and inhale back to center and exhale, release the arms to the side, back into mountain. Maybe we just kind of twist to one side and then the other. Maybe take a couple, a couple of minutes to roll out the neck. Just inviting any movement that feels good or you feel like your body needs, depending on what you've been doing today. If you've already been moving and you're feeling good, that's great. If you need a little extra, shake to get the body energized do what you need to do and i'm gonna make my way to the top of the mat and we will start flowing so we're gonna inhale reach for the sky and exhale swan dive forward into a forward fold keeping the knees as bent as you need at first Inhale to a half flat back, making a nice seven shape with the body, bringing the hands to either the shins or the thighs. And exhale back into our fold. Inhale, reach for the sky. 
And exhale the arms down through center into our mountain pose. That was half sun salutation. Now we'll continue to move. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half flat back. Exhale, drop the hands to either side of the feet. Stepping the right foot back and then the left. To pause for an inhale and plank. And exhale, release everything to the mat, dropping the belly. Inhale to lift the chin and the chest away from the mat for baby cobra, pulling the elbows together through the center body. Exhale, release. Inhale, pause. And exhale, pushing up through our plank and all the way back into our downward dog, lifting the hips up and back. Inhale, and exhale. And the next inhale, we'll plant the left foot, lift the right foot up off the mat toward the back of the room, up into a three-legged dog, keeping the hips even. Exhale, on the next inhale, lift a little higher. And on the next exhale, bring the right knee toward the chest and that right foot up between the hands to the top of the mat, giving it a little help if you need. Coming into a runner's lunge, so you can move that left foot back toward the mat for a little more space. And we can be here, or if this doesn't feel good or stable to you, you can always drop that left knee to the mat and be here. Either is great. Then we'll go ahead and plant that left hand into the mat. We're gonna reach that right arm up toward the sky, twisting toward, twisting our chest open toward that right knee, just twisting at the waist, pressing that left heel toward the back of the mat, reaching up through the right fingertips. Inhale and exhale. We can even Drop that right hand back behind the small of the back for to open the chest a little bit more. Or you can bring that right hand up back toward the sky. Inhale through the fingertips. And exhale, drop that right hand back to the mat. You can go ahead and drop that left knee, bringing the bum if it isn't already there, bring the bum back toward that back heel, straightening through that right leg, lifting the toes up off the ground for a half split, keeping the fingertips either up by the feet or pulling them back wherever feels stable, pulling that right hip back. Keeping those toes pressed into the mat, the back toes. We'll exhale, start to bend through that right leg, stacking the right knee over right ankle. Lift that left uh, knee up off the mat. Plant the hand, step the right foot back to meet the left. Inhale at the top of the plank. Exhale, release everything to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, pushing up into our plank and all the way back through to our downward dog. Take an inhale and an exhale, finding your footing, finding stability. Pressing through all 10 fingers to take some pressure out of the wrist. Dropping that right heel. Pressing the right foot into the mat. We'll lift the left up off the mat. Up and back into a three-legged dog. Keeping the shoulders and the hips even. Inhale a little higher. And exhale, bringing the left knee toward the chest. And the left foot up between the hands to the top of the mat, giving it a little help. 
and that right knee can be up off the mat. You can scooch that right foot closer to the back of the mat if you need. And if you need a little extra stability, just go ahead and drop that right knee. We'll plant that right hand into the mat, just to the right of the left foot. And we'll lift that left hand up toward the sky, opening the chest toward that right knee, twisting at the waist, reaching up through that left hand. You can always drop the left hand back behind the small of the back to open the chest and the shoulders or keep that left hand reaching toward the sky. Inhale and exhale. We'll drop the left hand back to the mat. Drop that right knee, keeping those toes tucked. That. Starting to press the bum back toward the heels. Don't have to touch. Straightening through that left leg, lifting that left foot and those left toes back toward the face. Your hands can either be up by the foot or back, wherever you need them to create the most stability. Just stretching through that left leg to our half split. And exhale, start to bend through that left knee, bringing the knee back up to stack over the left ankle bringing our hands back to either side of that left foot, lifting the knee, bringing the left foot back to meet the right. Inhale at the top of the plank. Exhale, release everything to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale, pushing up through our plank and all the way back through into our downward dog. We'll just take a couple breaths here in through the nose and out through the mouth. Again, in through the nose and out through the mouth. On our next inhale, we'll bend the knees, look to the top of the mat and exhale, walk the feet forward up between the hands releasing into our fold with an exhale. Inhale, half flat back. Exhale, fold. And inhale, reaching for the sky, straight into the waist, reaching the fingertips, maybe bringing the hands together, gazing at the hands. And exhale. Bring the hands down through center into our mountain pose. Taking a couple deep breaths, maybe to steady. Bring the breath back to a steady pace. And now instead of Shavasana, I invite you to take <clears throat> a few moments and let the energy that you've cultivated in your practice spill out into your creative medium. We'll play a little creativity music for you. I thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste, warriors. Now go forth and create. Welcome to your creativity session. Don't worry about pausing or turning off the video. We'll play some music to keep your creativity flowing as you work. Challenge yourself to keep going until the video ends. You got this. And if you appreciate these videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today's prompt is, it was smaller than she thought it would be. She must not have read the description. When she ordered it, she'd been distracted, ready to just
Time's up, warriors. Great job. I hope this rut-busting flow and creativity session was helpful. Remember, no matter how much or how little you created in this session, you still made the time and showed up. If you want to make these sessions a regular thing, make sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell to get notified whenever I have a new video. Have a wonderful day, warriors.